Hey everyone, this is the first episode to a new series that I'm doing called Simulation Saturday. And what it is, I'm going to look for somebody like on Instagram or a celebrity that's on TV during the week and try to dupe their makeup look. This should be fun knowing that my skills aren't really that great yet and my technique. Um, originally, I filmed this, pic this uh, video for my Full Face Friday um, but I'm editing it and I'm going to start it as my first episode. So, um, there are some corrections made, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoy. I'm still sick and I look like poo, but um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to recreate a look that I seen off Instagram. I know it's a big step for me because my skills are not that great, but I absolutely love this look and I'm going to show you guys right here. Um, it is super gorgeous. Another thing about this look that's got me a little nervous is there's a lot of black in this color, in this look. Um, and it's a matte black. I'm very nervous about using dark colors because of my dark circles. Um, hopefully when I bake underneath, I'll be able to get rid of it if there's any fallout. Um, I was looking for a matte black and I found one in my uh, Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. There is one in here that's called All Nighter. And then I also found one <coughs> in my Crown palette, the Smoke It Out one that I got from BoxyCharm. If I can open it. But to me, oh no, this is the matte one down here. There's a matte one there and then they have like a shimmery one. I want the matte one. So I want to see which one comes up darker. This one also has a lighter gray that I need that's like right there. Um, but we're going to do full face first. You guys know how I do it. I'll do my face and we'll go step by step. I'm also going to try using some different products that I normally don't use. For starters, instead of using my correction stick from e.l.f. that I absolutely love, I'm going to use the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Correction Palette. Um, for like, you know, all my imperfections, dark circles and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how it's going to work out. I've never used this palette, but this is what it looks like. We got this, I want to say with last month's Yes Oh Yes. And I'm not really even sure what brush to use, but I want to use like a, buff a buffer one. And I've been had this one for a while. It is a Luxie brush and it was from Harley, Harley Quinn. Um, I think it's based off of her. And, um. Yeah, so we're just gonna try and use this. And the color that I've been using with my e.l.f. is like a bis color. So I'm thinking that this orange would probably be the only closest thing to it. I'm also gonna use a different primer, one of my other favorites than the one I used last time I used the Cover FX. This time I'm using uh, my second favorite, it's the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. So now that I'm all primed and like dewy looking, I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows because I think it's easy for me when there's like a little bit of moisture there to work with and it's not so dry. So I'm just gonna use um, my Chella. I think this is tantalizing taupe. Yes it is and it's a little pencil. All right, guys, this is as good as it's gonna get. You just know I have this little mole right here, and then on this side I have a scar, so it's kind of like really hard for me to balance them out. I am getting better at it, but um, it, it's it's definitely taking me some time to um, get used to. So what I'm gonna do right now is just outline my eyebrows with my Tarte Shape Tape and my Aesthetica Angled Brush, like I usually do when I'm doing full faces for you or going out. We got it on here. I have my concealer brush, which is from BH Cosmetics. And I kind of just try to soften these lines up 
before I go ahead and do my concealer. I think in time I would probably use a better amount of product so I wouldn't have so much extra product to work in afterwards. And I know everybody has a different step-by-step um, -step thing when they do their makeup. This is just my preference. I'm sure it'll change in time. Now we're gonna go in and put the correction in. So like I said, we're gonna use the Bella Pierre uh, correction. And I'm using this orange color, which I'm not really certain about because I've never tried it. But we're just gonna go in and dab the spots that I want to, wow that I want to correct, obviously. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll try it. I might even have put too much product on here. Usually when I have my correction stick, I just dab a couple spots. Like anywhere that's dark, like the shadow. I know other people that use different colors too. But um, the bisque always worked really well for me. I have a dark shadow here, which is really good when I'm doing contouring, but I really don't want it to stand out when I'm not contouring. Great, now I look like a crazy person. I'm also gonna use a different concealer. Last time I used uh, Smashbox for under my eyes. Today I'm gonna use e.l.f. and it's the color Fair, which is weird to me because their fair color is lighter than the light. Isn't that weird? I don't know. Maybe I'm backwards. And I always come up here because I want to like pull up the concealer, make my eyes look more lifted. And I told you it's about blending my preference. I don't blend in the correction until I do the concealer first and then I try to like get them all together. By the time I'm done, I'll look like an Indian. <laughs> Funny, I am Indian. And we'll do here. I'm sick, so it's all red right there. Thankfully, I have Vicks tissues. Now that I've put in the concealer and the correction on, hopefully this is not too orangey for me because I've never tried it. We're going to take the blending brush that I use for my concealer for my eyes, and we're just going to buff them all out. And I told you in last, my last uh, Full Face Friday, I don't like to move the product. I've seen it on Wayne, Gro I always say his name is Wayne Gross. It's Wayne Ghost, I think, if I'm saying it right. Um, and he was saying, it, and it made total sense, like, why would you put product on things that you're gonna cover up and then just go in there and move it around? So my technique might not be what he was trying to show me or show us, but I have the idea, I just have to master the technique, I guess. That looks orange. All right, let me see if I can keep blending it. It'll maybe balance out. By the way, if you didn't watch my first uh, Full Face Friday, when I put concealer and correction in here, it's not to help contour or whatever. It's because I actually have dark spots there. And you can see it's still orange, so I can only imagine what this is going to look like. Oh God. I'm not liking this uh, concealer or correction. I mean, it's possible I just went a little overboard. I'm used to using a stick and this is a totally different kind of formula. This might be one of them looks where I'm gonna have to do full face foundation and then go back in with my concealer. I've seen girls do that where they put the red stuff on and do all this other crazy stuff and they put foundation on. So let's just see. All right, so this is obviously trial and error for me. Uh, so I went back in and I actually, I mean you're supposed to use the opposite colors that you're trying to correct, but I did touch a little of this purple. I started to with it with the orange brush and then I went back in with a clean brush. I dabbed a little bit around even though my eyes are black and blue or you know black. I just dabbed a little bit and then I put a little bit more concealer on and I'm trying to just work it in and hopefully it'll balance itself out. If I can't get this blended out, we're going to 
gonna have to do something because I'm not gonna start over. What are some stories that, like, when you, what has happened to you guys when you have tried something new? Like, I wanna hear some crazy stories. Comment down below, have you tried any products or have you even tried it, this correcting palette? I'm almost certain that I'm using it incorrectly and that's why I'm getting these results. I got aggravated and I just like kind of wiped my face on my cheeks. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to use foundation, which I never do because you know I hate putting all this stuff on my face. Right now my eyes look super greasy. I'm not done with it yet. Um, I have Revlon Color Stay for normal dry skin in the number 200 color nude. So I'm going to just see if I can balance a little bit of this out. I'm telling you, if this becomes a complete fail, you will never see this video. My face is super greasy. Ugh. Just like I normally do before, I put the setting powder under my eyes. I just want to blot around with my fingers, get some of this extra moisture off. I've seen um, Wayne. Wayne uses a tissue, I think. I just don't want the product sitting on my face. I have a yellow skin tone. I am Irish, but I have um, some American Indian in me. So I get a yellow tone to my face. Um, and then we're gonna use the Luna by Luna powder that I used in last First Face Friday. I like this translucent powder right now. It's one of my favorites, so. I guess the foundation wasn't too bad and it actually helped me out. What do you guys think? My lighting, when I see it, like I have like a million mirrors around me and my smart mirror, uh, my high mirror plus, the lighting on them is totally different than the lighting on my uh, camera. Try to work that in a little bit more than I did last week because last week I looked like a powder puff freak. <laughs> Thank God when I'm done I can just blend this off or just blend it all out. And then we're gonna do my eyes just in case we have fallout with that black. But I wanna do this more precise because I like it cut straight. I should probably use a beauty blender but I do like the little puffy thing that this came with. Okay, so this part, I'm going to go back and I'm going to start my eyes. But this is the part that I've been having a problem with because I see a lot of people going in with a transition color, which is, and I'm seeing it as a lighter color, and then they're putting the dark one on the crease and pulling it down. And then I'm seeing other girls do it the opposite, where they're doing the lid color and then blending it out with the transition above it. But this being a dark color, I want to start off with the lighter one being the, the silver gray. And I'm hoping that this is a close color to what she's got right here. There are no names for the colors, but this is the color. And it's swatched. And we're just gonna try and go in. It's a matte. All these are gonna be matte except for towards the end. I think this is a matte. I hope so using a light fluffy blending brush. I'm absolutely afraid of black. So I'm not even gonna lie, I've been playing with the silver or gray, whatever this is, for way too long. Really BSing. Because I'm just totally afraid to bring that black into my eyes. Um, I'm gonna use a really small brush, I think, and go in with it right above my crease and try to blend it out and then work the corners afterwards. So let me just see how this goes. We're gonna try the Pretty Vulgar um, All Nighter Black first and see if that's dark enough. If not, then I'll go back to the crown palette. Ugh. 
Oh, there it is. There it is. You guys, I am so scared. I'm trying not to pull my eyes, Ween. I know you said don't move your skin around, so I'm trying. I don't even want to touch the corner yet because that's like the most popping part of this look, I think. So let me just try to even out the other side and then we'll go from there. One eye always comes out better than the other and I can already tell I went in on a different angle with this one. Uh, this actually has me hot. I know I'm not feeling good, but I had to open my window, so I apologize if you guys hear anything in the background from outside. back of my house is a creek and a lot of water out there but then there's a side street and oh my god um you hear a lot of traffic around this time even when we being in a rural area i hate it all right this obviously isn't a blending brush just trying to get a little shape here All right, so I'm switching to a very small angled brush from Luxie, and I'm gonna go in one more black. Dun, dun, dun. I entertain myself. I hope that like a year from now I can look back at this and be so much better and just laugh at myself like I see some channels do. I don't want to be like every other channel but I do want to be able to do that at least. That's got to be very rewarding. Can you just tell how scared I am? I'm like so hesitant. For this look, there's going to be like a silver in here, so I can pull some of this black in, but I don't want to pull it all in, so. And I definitely will clean up the lines. Oh, you guys can stop holding your breath, I promise. Hopefully at this point, uh, I'll be able to fix this. Not make it worse. Yep, just like I thought. I know I have to blend out this black. I'm just trying to get the proper shape, I guess, and I'm building it a little bit with this smaller brush, little by little, because I am scared. I probably could use a different brush, but for me with black and me being so scared, I think this is way more precise and moderate. So if I make a boo-boo, it shouldn't be too difficult for me to fix. I hate how your skin like crinkles up a little bit around your eyes. I don't know if everybody does that or if I'm just getting old. But oh, this is so dark. It's black. Ugh. So I was looking at the picture of how this look is. Yes, I did like the Q-tip. I was bringing the black up too high. For this look, hers is more like pointed out. So I'm 
just trying to bring this a little bit away from my brow. And I'm turning it so I don't keep putting the black on. That's one of my gross habits, doing this. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to put more silver back in, but I'm trying to make it as perfect as possible. For someone as inexperienced as myself. I'm trying to minimize this video, but I don't want you to miss out on what I'm doing, whether it's good or bad. I'm just trying to clean up these lines. Yes, I'm still playing with the black, but um, I feel like if I go too far with the black and I don't fix it as I go along, then I'm probably going to be screwed. So I'm trying to do it now before I put the gray back in. This eye does not look the same as that eye. Ugh! I don't know which eye you want to work with. I kind of like how this one comes down and points out. This one's like more rounded. I think I should just try and get this one like that. It might be easier. Me again. <laughs> so I'm still working on the shape. One eye looked more rounder than the other. I'm not putting any more product on the brush and I'm wiping it off in between. Only time I put more on here is if I feel like I need to fill in more or shape it differently. Right now I'm just playing with it. I'm being really careful and I apologize to you guys for how long this video is. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it because it's gonna be super long. Even after I edit this, it's gonna be crazy long. These are gonna hate me. Believe it or not though, I'm having fun. And the black is really easy to manage. This side is way more the way I wanted it to be. This to me is like a lot more rounder. But anyway, even though this is a dark eye, um, her picture is like not so bold. Like she had blended it out really well and it was transitioned with the gray. So I'm thinking that I should probably blend out the edges of this before I put the gray in. So I'm gonna go back in with this little fluffy brush. Actually, I'll use a clean fluffy brush. It looks like I'm taking some of the product off here. Um, not really concerned about that right now. I just wanna blend it out so it's not so I don't know. Can't say bold because it already is bold. It's black. I am wiping the brush off in between. This is the part I'm really scared of because it watched me turn out and look like I have black eyes. <laughs> like literally black eyes. And I'm gonna be really upset. So I'm going to just say, fuck it, excuse my language, and put a little bit of silver in here and then try to blend it in more. Um, I'm gonna use a smaller brush because I really don't want it to go all the way up into my eyebrow area where I usually put the highlighter. I'm really making a mess out of this look. Definitely for an experienced girl, and I am not that advanced <laughs> but it is fun to play around and um, experiment I'm having fun and me being a Leo I'm not gonna stop until it looks halfway acceptable so we're just gonna keep going so I put the silver in and I went back original to this brush and I'm trying to get some of this black yeah I'm back to the black again God, I didn't even start the center or the crease. Uh. I 
I swear I can't wait until I can just do it and it's done. <laughs> but then I don't even know if that'll be fun. Because my eyes are hooded right here, I want to make sure I have some of the black on there because it looks like if I just have the black underneath, it looks like my lids are hanging over it. So I'm trying to fix that right now. actually happy with that. I'm not putting any more product on the brush again. I just want to try and fill it in. And I'm not bringing it in here because it's going to be like a lighter shimmery silver with the uh, glitter eyeliner. with this I'm gonna drive myself insane I think I should just go into my crease and go into the next part and then maybe we'll look at the picture and go from there got my shape tape and my Aesthetica angled brush and we're going to come in with it I don't think it's wet enough but How many of you guys are having a hard time with cut crease? Because I feel like I, I can mess up, even though my eyes are jacked up right now, I feel like I can mess a whole look up. It's really frustrating because I, I really, I know I told you guys I don't wear makeup all the time, but I really enjoy doing this and it's fun to me. And I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and I'm just gonna keep trying and keep trying until I get it right, but it's just so frustrating. It's nice to see some of the girls like on IG um, when they talk about where they started and where they're at now, like the comparison pictures. It's very um, encouraging for me and I appreciate that. All right, so this is what I have right now. You can see I am terrible at my lines here. I like the dark, the black on this one more. See how it comes in more than this side? It doesn't. Mm, I'm gonna have to fix that. Which means I'm gonna have to touch the black again. Ugh! So I don't know if this is gonna help it or make it worse, but I'm gonna take this little skinny black one I've been using and I'm gonna go in real lightly. Try and go in real lightly. Right above the concealer. worse and one eye is going to be darker than the other of course <laughs> I hope you are getting enjoyment out of this mm, this is what I have right now I'm going to go in with the silver and it's a liquid which I'm really not sure about. It's a Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. One side is a shadow, the other side is a really pretty glittery eyeliner. And I'm not gonna use this doe foot because I'm afraid of it. I'm scared of a lot of things, ain't I? <laughs> and we're gonna go in with this from the bottom up so I can see what I'm doing. I actually like it without the silver. I could have left it with just the concealer and blended the gray into it. Hopefully putting the silver on here on top of this will look nice. 
I did put more translucent powder on. I went and heated up my tea. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. I wanted to let the um, cream dry. So it's freezing in my room because I'm sick. Probably stupid, but I had to open the window when I got nervous with the black. I know I had said to you guys I was opening the window. I have a window right here. So now I'm like freezing and it says it's 34 degrees outside. So I'm like, my hands are so cold right now. Um, so I put more translucent powder on because I am going to go on with black and fill this in. And then I have a liquid silver. I'm not sure yet if I want to do exactly what she did on her look and fill in the whole lid or just do my crease. But I'm sorry. I'm going to try and minimize this video as best as I can. But I really want to get this look down packed. And I like when you see my struggle. So I got the stamp of approval from my 16 year old who is a trendsetter, you know, the kids is the ages. I am gonna go with more black, like an idiot. I know some of these are probably watching this going, no, don't do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that because I want more black to come around here above my crease. The only way I'm gonna learn is if I just keep playing with it, right? I know some of you guys are super supportive, but you are definitely on a better level level of um, experience than me, and I appreciate the support. Um, and I'm sure you will give me tips at the bottom, um, but I'm just gonna play. I wish, I know this is a lot of wishing in this video. I know at some point, hopefully, I'll be able to just go in one time with the black, do it like that, blend it out, and go into the next color. But right now, I'm just going back and forth because I'm not, I'm not experienced like, like I would like to be. So, in the meantime, this is what I have to do. This isn't an, a normal look that I would do anyway. I stick with neutral colors or pinks. But this is definitely fun and interesting for me. I usually say sometimes more is bad. And I'll stop if I'm going, you know, trying to fix something. Because sometimes if you try to fix it, you make it worse. I should be able to see better with my contacts in, but they're getting so dry. It's definitely not helping. And I miss my colored contacts, but they are prescription, so um, it's either them or the glasses, and I can't do my eye looks with my glasses on. Now her look, she had more black coming in, so I'm gonna have to eventually attempt that. I haven't put in any more black on the brush. I think I'm gonna use a different brush to bring it in a little bit. God, I just wanted to go around where the concealer is. Bring it down a little bit into the corners. So I'll have highlighter here. You can see some of the gray popping through still, but I'm gonna put a highlighter in there. Hopefully it's not too dark when I'm done. What do you guys think? I actually think I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I'm contemplating on taking that silver and putting it on my lids, like dabbing it on and then put the liquid silver on it just to lighten it up a little bit. Hmm. Let's see if I could do what my finger what it looks like. Oh yeah, I like that. Kind of matches my hair a little bit. Oh yeah, totally different. I don't know if you guys will agree, but it lightens it up a little bit, right? And that's not even with the liquid glitter yet, so. It's kind of cool, and I gotta still bring the black in a little bit more, okay? So I'm gonna take this little fluffy angled brush and get a little bit of this black on here.
I have a, a tiny brush that I'm using with the silver and I just wanted to get a little bit more pinpointed with it rather than my finger. My finger's like all over the place. It was nice to get it on the lids. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth with the with the black and the gray or the silver. Hopefully I can feather this out without taking off too much product. And then I want to go in with the um the liquid um silver glittery stuff. Which in this look, I think she does her whole lid. I'm not even sure if I want to do that. Because I already jacked up my eyes. <laughs> but We'll see. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this video to cut back the time. This is crazy. I have no idea how I'm going to go in with this. Okay, that's not too bad, right? If I mess up, I'm just going to fill my whole eyelid in with it. Now, am I supposed to come all the way out here with it, I guess? I'm actually bringing it into the beginning part of my eyelid because I just, not because I messed up. Well. It did kind of mess up my whole eye, but I like the way it looks, so. That's my high mirror. Got like keywords and it just goes off. And it's like right in front of me. I kind of like this Revlon with the eyeshadow on one side and then this on the other. Maybe I should get more colors. That'd be kind of cool. I'm doing a lot of things I normally don't do. All right, so I'm gonna use this black ColourPop liner um, for my waterline. Try not to move the um, translucent powder. I hopefully this doesn't jack it up. I was contemplating on using an eyeliner because it's such a dark eye look. Um, I don't want to mess it up or make it crazy, but maybe I can just do a thin line right at my lashes. And I have a matte um, liquid liner from CoverGirl. I just really don't like how long that tip is because it always gets in my um, lashes. Right now, I wish I had did this one live, even though it's like super long. I don't know if I should bring this black out or just leave it alone. I did follow my lash line, if you guys can see. And I want to come out more with this, but I'm afraid. I think maybe I should leave it alone. Okay, enough BSing. I got my Sorme highlighter pencil, and I'm just going to do what I always do. Do a very thin line under my brows. You can easily overdo this, and I always do because I love highlighters. 
Although I use this for a base and then I'll put another highlighter on it. I think it always cleans up this area here for me and gives me shape. I feel like there's so much more to do and I am taking forever. All right, contour, contour and bronze. Let me get this stuff out. You should see like everything in front of me. It's ridiculous. In time, girls, in time. I'm sure I will get better these videos. Sorry, my lighting just changed on its own because my high mirror decided to say it's nighttime now. There we go. So I put the bronze down first. Anywhere I'm going to put contour usually. And I have the Park Ave. It's ridiculous sometimes. It really does take me forever. This is why I don't do it. And I only do it for the channel. To be honest, you guys, because I'm sick, I probably would have been in pajamas, laying in bed. So, you know how I told you guys, you always make me feel better. This channel makes me happy. Um, I'll probably regret it later and feel terrible because I didn't take a, a nap or lay around, but I'm happy that I'm doing something today and I'm being productive. I always use this Pure Sculptor palette. I love it. I love the way it smells, everything. And um, you know I'll like blend that in better so it's not going to stay like that. Looks super dark, but it's not. Um, I used the one up top, the inventor one. I got this really cool hair tool um, right after Christmas when they were doing all the after Christmas sales. So I might do a video on that. You guys are absolutely gonna love this thing if you like curling your hair. It changes the whole game. Like big Shirley Temple curls. You're not gonna believe it. All right, I'm gonna clean up my eyes a little bit. I have this really cool shape brush. I told you guys I think is like perfect for here. Cause I am gonna put a little bit of that gray underneath my eyes. And I don't want this here when I do. I should probably leave it when I'm doing that, but I always feel like if I do that, when I go to wipe this off, I'm gonna wipe the um, eyeshadow off underneath. I gotta get better at sculpting my nose too. I really don't even mess with that whole thing. And I see everybody doing it, it looks great. And I have a rather large nose, so um, it'd probably be a good idea to start practicing that too. So I use the same brush and I kind of just like dab in around my hairline where I put the bronzer and um, contouring. And I usually don't use this brush for my cheeks, but I'm getting um, restless now. And I can't imagine any of you guys watching this whole video all the way through. It's like super gonna be super duper long. Before I do my blush and highlighter and the rest of my eyes, um, I wanna go in my lower lash line with that light gray. Which I usually don't really do. I have an Alomar brush, one of her brushes, Gabby's. And I think they're amazing, especially for doing this. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna come out because right now it doesn't look like it's showing. Yeah, I barely see anything. 
Maybe I should be more aggressive. Hmm. Did I see a difference? Because I do. So I switched over to one of the Luxie brushes we got. It's a mini round brush. Um, and it, I think this one might even be angled. And it's definitely more aggressive. I was looking for that. I could probably even go in with a darker gray since there's a black in here. This is the latest gray I used for the colors. Try this. Much better. What do you guys think? I wish I was live right now with you guys because I am so uh, indecisive about what to do. So, I have this really cool brush from Vintage Cosmetics. I'm going to try and lighten up my eyes with a lighter than usual color for the highlighter. I don't know about this color, this brand, if it's gonna pop or not. This whole night is experimenting. This isn't even a highlighter, this is the eyeshadow. I have no white highlighters, can you believe that? I have like a thousand of them and they're like cream colors. Oh, I have an idea. Cause I went, that was from the um, crown palette. I can go from here and use one of theirs. From the uh, Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. Much better. Yeah. Dude, you guys gotta check this out. Where I put the um, glitter from the Revlon, look at this. It's like a sheet. And I was just trying to do the highlighter. Now I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to put some of this underneath of it, I guess, to like glue it down. It's so weird. It's so weird. Wow. Now I'm going to fix that. So everywhere I put the glitter at is like one sheet of product that comes up like, like glue almost. That's so weird. So I put a little bit more of that silver underneath of it. Hopefully it'll like glue it down. I'm just going to wait for it to dry and we'll go mess with um, the highlighter somewhere else for right now because that was just the weirdest thing. And I was, I really do like this product from Revlon. It's pretty cool. And we're going to follow along where I put that highlighter um, pencil earlier. I'm really liking this pretty vulgar nightingale palette. And I used, well, I didn't use the light gray in here because it's not as light as I wanted, but I used the black and then I used this um, break free white. It doesn't have as much fallout as the um, crown palette I used with the gray or the grays that I used in that palette. But it, both of them are really nice palettes and the black wasn't hard to work with. It's just, I'm ner nervous. So I just let that dry and I did my brow bone and I just want to touch, hopefully it's dry now. It kind of grossed me out a little bit. It looked like skin peeling, it was weird. You seen I had to use my um, tweezers just to show you guys how, I'm sure this one's gonna do the same thing. Ugh. All right, so since I used that for a highlighter, I'm just gonna go on my highlighting brush and use try to use this white from the Nightingale palette too, why not? Ooh, it is pretty. I didn't even do my blush. I'm so out of out of order right now. <sighs> this video really did take a long, long time, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to edit it for you guys. That's a really nice. That's the break free from the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar palette. That that works great for a highlighter. Wow. I don't have any light ones like this. Since I went out of order, I'm gonna go back and just use the blush and then go back in with my highlighter because I'm a highlighter queen. I'm using the Laura Geller um, blush that I haven't really used. Kind of been stuck on my pretty vulgar one. But this one's kind of pearly like, and it looks like it has even like a highlighting effect on it.
I still have to do a mascara. And my falsies. Ugh, you're gonna kill me. Another product I haven't used yet, and it's the Lorac Pro. I got this in December's BoxyCharm. So I'll put the mascara on first, and then I'm gonna put my lashes on. Wow, look at this brush. Some people curl their lashes beforehand. I'm putting falsies on, so I don't really care. I just do the mascara just so my lashes don't, wow, I might not even, I might not even need falsies. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh my God, this might be my next, my, my top one favorite mascara now. Wow. It doesn't clump at all. And I have like a slight coating on my eyelashes from that mess, um, the eyeliner I was using. Cause remember I told you the brush is too long and it hits my eyelashes and it's going on still really nice. I told you I switched my eyelash adhesive. So this doesn't have latex, doesn't have formaldehyde. Um, it's by Kiss. And I'll just line up my um, lash band with this glue. I like to have it on thoroughly because I don't want my lashes to come off. The worst thing that happens is when you're in public and one's like falling. Usually if I wear um, falsies, I'll just take the lash glue with me. And I like this one because it has an applicator. So if they're like one spot's like loose, you can just kind of tap it in with a brush without having to take the whole thing off. And we're going to wait a couple seconds for this to get tacky and then I'll place it. Right, that's the lashes. Could have went more dramatic, but I'm actually gonna put a gloss on. I wish I had something more glittery, like a silver shimmer. Everything I have is um, it changes colors and stuff. You put it on like the silver ones. When I put them on, they turn pink. Person, so and this is the worst having a lip ring with the with a pure um, a lip ring when you're putting lipstick and stuff here's the final look you guys I am proud of myself it took extremely long to do this video and for those of you who wrote it out the whole video with me thank you thank you so much even if you guys peeked in and out I really appreciate the support. It's not exactly what I was going for, but way better than I expected. And I am super stoked. And I hope that a year from now I can look back at this and compare and even attempt to recreate her look again and see how much closer I can come to it. I appreciate everybody's support. You guys are the best. I tell you all the time and I really do mean it. If you liked this video and watched me struggle, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, stick around and um, see what more fun we get into this year. I'm gonna be doing these live um, probably starting next week. So um, you can interact and tell me when to stop and you know, it'll be fun. So I will see you again real soon. Bye.